One and a half years ago, I asked my friend, took a picture of me. This is the picture. And I felt so fat there. And I wanted to get shredded abs, strong jawline. And that's exactly what I did. And in this video, I will teach you how to get shredded abs. There is this concept of the 80-20 rule. You get 80% of the results for 20% of the effort. And you get the remaining 20% of the results for 20% of the effort. And in the beginning of this video, I will reveal to you the 20% effort that will give you 80% of the results. And after that, I will reveal to you the 80% effort that will cause your abs to really pop up. And the 20% effort is to get thinner, to lose body fat percentage. You have six pack, you have visible abs, but they are hidden beyond a huge layer of fat that you need to remove. And then after you remove this layer of fat, your abs will be seen. But you need to lose weight, you need to be on a calorie deficit. To what body fat percentage you need to get to? Around 12 to 15. That's when you will feel the best. You won't be too lean to the point when you start to feel thick and hungry all the time. And your abs will be visible. You will have shredded abs. How to lose weight? Losing weight is not that easy. But it's pretty simple. And right now, I will reveal to you 5 hearts that will help you to lose weight. But there are no shortcuts. You must be on a caloric deficit in order to lose weight. Because if you want to be on a deficit, your body will just continue to store fat or maintain your mass. And the first hack is to eat more protein. Out of the three macronutrient protein has the biggest satiation effect so if you will eat carbs you will feel a bit hungry after work if you will eat fat you will feel just about satiated but you will eat a lot more calories because fat is the most calorie dense one but if you will eat protein you will feel the most satiated afterwards but not only that protein has the biggest thermodynamic effect so if you eat protein you will burn around 20 percent of the calories that you eat just by digestion and the Second hack is to drink coffee and fast. When you drink coffee, you basically block the feeling of hunger because if coffee reduces satiation and does not increase your daily calorie intake. You can even add some artificial sweeter or something like that to your coffee and it will taste amazing. And it will be zero calories, it will contain zero calories and then it will allow you to fast like all morning and then you will eat a big meal or two meals. But after this meal, you will feel so satiated because they will be so big, full of food. You won't feel like you are on a diet because you will be able to eat the same big meals. But you will just need to endure this period of hunger in the morning. But it's not like hard because when you fast, you become so much more productive. You will be able to get a lot more work done during this fasting period. And the third hack is to mask your cravings with water. You might want to eat something but you are not really hungry. You crave water, you are actually thirsty and you need to drink a lot more water so you won't fall for this trap. You won't eat instead of drinking water. You might feel bad all the time. You might have a bad mental health and that's the fourth hack is to improve it. Your binge eating stands from your bad mental health and that's the fourth fact is to improve your mental health is to reduce your stress, become less anxious, less depressed, to stop to eat for stress reduction, to find another way to cope with this bad mental health issue. And I am the best solution for you. And it is to meditate every day. Yesterday around noon, I started to feel a little bit stressed out, a little bit more anxious. And guess what I did? I took my phone, I opened this app called Medito, and I meditated for 20 minutes. And after that, I felt so good, so refreshed. That's what you need to do. You need to start to meditate every day and implement this habit into your life this will help you so much with your cravings and it will also just make you happier human being there is one kind of cardio that won't increase your appetite and it is actually pretty fun to do and it is to go for a walk you won't actually burn a lot of calories during a walk but you won't be hungry afterwards you won't be so hungry in comparison to when you run and afterwards you feel so hungry you want to eat so badly and anyone can walk it is pretty easy, the entry barrier is pretty low in comparison to running and any other cardio activity. So you need to start walking to do this great thing that won't only make you healthier, it will also help you to lose weight and increase your daily calorie intake. The three things that will get you the 20% of the results, the 80% effort, and the first one is to train your abs. Training your abs will just 
cause them to become bigger. So when you lose body fat, you lose weight, the layer of fat that tied you up will start to shred down, will be removed. Your abs will be seen but they won't be as big as if you were shredding them before. Like when you grow your bicep in the gym and you lift weights and everything, your bicep gets bigger. Your abs can work the same but they won't get as quite the same size as your bicep. They won't get so big but they will get a bit bigger and that will cause them to pop out more. And the second thing is to get a tan, like to go out to the sun. I'm not in a position to tell you about getting a tan because I don't have a tan. It's pretty cold outside these days so I don't have an opportunity to get into the sun and get a tan. Professional bodybuilders change the color of their skin so their muscles will pop out more. They make it a bit darker and that's what a tan will make you, will make you a bit darker will cause your muscles to pop a little bit more and your abs to pop more. I already told you to go for a walk but if you will go to a morning walk so every morning you will get out and walk this will cause you to burn glycogen and that will cause to your abs to pop out more afterwards and that's the third thing that you need to do is to go out for a morning walk at the beginning of the video I told you that I wanted to get more defined more strong jawline and I made a complete video about getting a better jawline and if you want to see it you can click it